Hey, welcome to Hixie Studio and in this video today we are going to be looking at how to make this birthday diamond tag. We will be using some lovely uh, watercolour ink and pixie sparkles from Cosmic Shimmer and also we're going to be using this butterfly square die from Janine's Art uh, Butterfly Touch collection. So let's get started. So we're going to do the messy bits first and we're going to make um, two backgrounds one this really lovely dark blue which is a, a combination of the ink which is uh, turquoise cascade and the, the pixie sparkles which is beyond blue and then you can see this, this offset frame that i've got here of um is just using the uh, pixie sparkles so we're going to get two pieces of card and we are going to um get these all ink so I'm going to use the bigger one for the, the dark background and the smaller one for just the pixie sparkles. So I'm going to start by um, getting some of the ink and give it a bit of a shake uh, to dislodge hopefully some of that pearlescence in the bottom. And then I am going to uh, press the stopper to fill up that lovely pipette. And then I'm going to put a bit in there. a bit too much but hey ho we will see okay now don't look at the color of my water just slightly dirty but it will do the job so i'm going to get my brush a bit wet and then i'm going to literally just paint on this gorgeous turquoise cascade ink the card isn't wet so this is literally um pretty much the neat ink and I'm kind of going across in a diagonal fashion and oh I might have been just about right on the amount of ink there now I'm not um the reason I haven't added any water is because I am going to need to add some water in a moment oh inky fingers already um I am going to need to add some water in a moment when I put the pot uh, the pixie sparkles on because I'm going to need to spray a little bit more to activate them so Beyond Blue, this is what's going to give us that beautiful sparkle on top of this ink. So I'm just going to um, start to tap the bottom. And you can see where it is damp, you can see there is already um, a bit of a reaction with the pigment in the Pixie Sparkles. Because Pixie Sparkles are a combination of a pigment powder and um, the lovely sparkle. And the pigment activates with water. Uh, so and I'm being quite generous here. Now I also want to put um, my um, pixie sparkles onto this piece of card um, with no um, uh, no ink on the background. So it's going to be a little bit uh, more muted, but still bursting with colour because I am always very generous. With my pixie sparkles okay i'm feeling yes i thought i had arms straight okay all right so um little spray water bottle and as i said you can already see on here some of it started to react but as you can see as i spray you start to see much more of the pigment and then the sparkle is also kind of um kind of activates the sparkle too and then it seals that sparkle in and then if I start to spray on here might have been a little bit over generous over on this bit it's not as pale as I perhaps would have wanted but hey that's how it comes out it's still very beautiful okay yeah I definitely was over generous on that one but not to worry okay so I always like to let my um really wet backgrounds like this dry naturally because it helps stop the card from bowing when you uh, force it which you sometimes need to it does make the card bow so these two are going to go to one side uh, ready for another day and uh, I will get forward the ones that I have Ooh, excuse me the, um, my uh, trimmer there I'm kicking and then I'm just going to mop up oh what a mess i've made uh 
won't waste any. Get that up too. And just mop that up. It's absolutely beautiful colour, both the ink and the pixie sparkles. Look at that. That will make a lovely background sometime in my future. So, what those two are drying, so I have ones that I've already prepared. And you can see what I said the same with the one I did just now. I had been a little bit over generous because I wanted a little bit more of a paler um, uh, background. So, I am now going to get the dye. And I am going to, I need to cut uh, out of his. This is going to form my uh, background, which I'll sort in a moment. But we need to cut one of the, the, um, the squares, the butterfly squares from this light blue. I'm just looking for my, oh, there it is, hiding behind my water. So I'm just going to position it. I think that fits the lightest. So. We shall put some tape on there and we shall put it through our machine. And there we go. Off it goes. So while that is done, we are now, oh, we'll keep that bit, I always keep little bits like that because you can always die cut sentiments out of it, which I might be doing shortly. Put that to one side and get my die brush, give it a bit of a roll over. Push these bits to one side and add my pokey tool and put one corner out. It pops out if it is quite filigree, so just rip it out, just tease it out. It's all those little bits in the corner there. Okay, let's just pop those out. There we go. And you can see this, this forms a nice light contrast to the dark of the background. Okay. Now I have you don't need to see me cut that out twice. I have already cut out um, that out in white uh, to go on that, and we'll sort that out in a moment. Okay. Now this this is my um, base tag. It is four and a quarter square, and we're using it as a diamond. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, do my normal eyeballing and decide where I'm going to cut this down so it's about there and grab my guillotine and push it up to the top on that line to the top and on that line too okay so now we have our uh, piece that goes there we have our border, our square, as I say, and I've just seen another little bit. I did, and now it's gone. It must have just dropped out as I picked it up. Okay, not to worry. There you go. Um, and I have uh, the white one of that to go on the top. Get it around the right way. Oh, that's still not around the right. Must be that end. There we go. Yeah, so that will... Give us a nice little drop shadow there. So I have, um, I'm going to now cut the happy birthday and you can, you can either use this bit, I'm going to use this bit here to cut our happy birthday to give us a, a drop shadow on that. Oh, I can't see for looking, it's right in front of me. Okay, so, there uh, we go. Thing there. I am also going to use it down here. I should have done that all at the same time, really, would have saved me time, but we're going to use that and that there to cut. 
some more bits uh the in fact don't need that bit we only need the big butterfly we'll cut the butterfly oh there we go here's our happy birthday Falling out, which is good, that's what we always want from a die. Falling out rather than sticking in. Let's just run that over with most of the bits we don't want. And then put that out. And then that gives us our drop shadow for our happy birthday. And then, like I say, I should have done that at the same time, but I didn't. To worry, so just cut that off and we use a bit of that tape Put it in and we go. Just give you time to clean the dye a little bit more. And we have larger of the butterflies we want. And again, go over with the dry cleaning brush, get rid of bits we don't want, pop it out with the uh, pokey tool. Just push through one more. Oh, no, that's not, that's not a bit that's going to help me, is it? This bit's going to help me. Although I wouldn't want to pull them there, bear with me. Okay, for some reason, I do not want it. There we go, now I've got it. It's all out. There we go. So, I have my tag base, my lovely bright blue mat and then we have our two um butterfly squares to create our border on the blue for a drop shadow i have my happy birthday and i have um my happy birthday here already cut in white and i have my butterfly already cut in white so what remains then is for us to put this all together and to punch our hole uh, and create the tags. So let's just move that out of the way. Find my glue, move my water out of the way so I don't knock that down. And here we go. So. It's a really lovely, vibrant blue. As I say, it is one of my favourite colours of the of the ink and possibly one of my favourite combinations of ink and pixie sparkles. Right, so we need a bit of scrap because we are going to have to um, deal with lots of little nice little areas. So I'm just going to oh, come down. Oh, my word, look at the set of my hands. Might be a lovely colour, but it certainly looks like it stains. Not to worry, that will come out with shampoo when I wash my hair. Okay, so I'm going round. Lots of dabbing. So unfortunately you're going to have to watch me do this twice because you've got to do it for the white one too. So you'll forgive me if, perhaps, if I don't do as, it as thoroughly as you would at home. I just want enough to get it on there so you can see. Okay, so I am just going to uh, just kind of blot that a little bit on the scrap card and um, I'm going to just turn it so that that is the top corner of my tag. Okay, and I'm putting it slightly over rather than central because obviously I want to drop shadow that. So you see it's, it's a lot closer to this side and... Uh, to the top and then we're going to run and get it around the right way we're going to just drop shadow that there into the middle okay so let's do the same with this one okay glue 
and dip it up again. I think I got it all over my mat then, not to worry, that will rub off. You're getting the idea. Do, 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 do. Okay, and this will stick over the top once I've glued it. And then we'll repeat the process with the um we'll repeat the process with the happy birthday die and the butterfly. Right, now I'll make sure I get this up the right way. So we are going this way. Let me just rub that glue. This is now all gone blue because my hands are blue. Um and I am just gonna offset that. So that we can see the blue and we can see the white. Now, to be fair, I'm not sure I really put enough glue on that, but hopefully it's enough to hold it for the purposes of demonstration. Okay, happy birthday. And we go back over the back. Do, 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 do. And blocked and you see, I've, I've put it not at the top because we want to put the butterfly. So if I just place the butterfly so I know roughly where to put it. So we'll put the happy birthday there. And then um, same in white. Oops. I feel like I'm being a little bit heavy handed with this glue today. Not to worry. Put it off. And then. Shadow that, make sure that they are all in the right place. That looks okay. There we go. Okay, and then the last thing is the um the butterfly, and we don't need to put glue all over that because we want that a little bit 3D. And in fact, I am just going to put that to one side because I'm going to do the hole before we put this in, otherwise it's going to be tricky to get the um uh the um the ribbon through. Whew. Kind of thing. What it was called then? Right, so I am just going to eyeball this and I am going to go in there with my trusty cropper dial, go through several layers of card at once, and we're going to put the ribbon through as well. Just fold it and fold it round through the hole and then the tails back through that loop. There we go. So now we can stick this butterfly in and know that we're not going to knock it in a minute when we try to uh, put the new ribbon in. Let me just give this one. Ooh. Oh, now I've been a little bit heavy handed and I've uh, snapped the, the wing, but I think we might just get away with that. Ah, there we go. So there you have it. Our diamond happy birthday card using cosmic shimmer turquoise and i'm gonna get this wrong now oh, turquoise cascade turquoise cascade the blue <laughs> beyond blue oh, i've forgotten all the names the beyond blue pixie sparkles and the gorgeous janine's art butterfly square die thank you for joining me mm -hmm.